Now, when you're creating teaching and learning assets, you'll often need to make a change to a particular object in your image. When you were exploring through all of the main menus, you likely found up under the image menu all of these adjustment options, such as brightness and contrast, levels, curves, and so forth. All of these tools are fantastic for making overall adjustments to your image, but the problem is they make overall adjustments to your entire image. Now, there is another set of these tools, and they're hidden down here at the bottom of your layers panel under this adjustment layer icon. Now, adjustment layers work on the layers that appear below it in the layer stack. So make sure that you have your red glasses layer selected, and then let's add a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Now, a new layer appears in your stack, and your properties panel should automatically open up. As you drag the hue slider back and forth, you can see that all of the colors in the image are being modified by this slider. Well, that's kind of what we want, but this adjustment layer is affecting all of our layers and not just our red glasses layer. Now, to make an adjustment layer only target a specific layer, move your cursor over the horizon just between the adjustment layer and the layer below it, and then hold down the Alt or Option key on your keyboard. Your cursor then turns into a hooked arrow with a box, indicating that you're about to clip the adjustment layer into the layer below it. Keep holding down that key and then click. A new hooked arrow appears on the layer and the icons look indented, showing you that this adjustment layer is now only working on this particular layer just below it. Finish dialing in your hue. I think a setting of about plus 170 looks pretty good. Now we're getting somewhere, but this white stitching is looking a little dull. No problem. Let's add another adjustment layer. This time we'll add a color balance layer. And once again, move your cursor between the two lines, hold down option or alt and click to clip that adjustment layer onto our red glasses layer as well. Now, since we only want to adjust the white stitching a bit, let's change the tone dropdown from mid tones to highlights and then move the first slider away from red and towards cyan to a setting of about minus 14. And then shift the last slider away from yellow and towards blue to about plus 14. Now that's looking pretty good. Now to really sell this effect, close your properties panel and reselect your red glasses layer and go up to the edit menu and you'll find all of the transform commands. And these all work on the currently selected layer. Let's choose free transform or press command or control T. Now make sure your cursor is just outside of the selected region and you should have a hooked arrow cursor. Click and drag to rotate these glasses a bit. Then with your cursor inside of the selected region, click and drag to reposition them. Then move over one of your corners and press and hold the shift key on your keyboard as you click and drag inward to scale the glasses down. I'll move my cursor back inside of the glasses and once again reposition them so that this crease in the flag aligns with the crease in the glasses. I keep making fine adjustments until you're happy with your transformation. To lock this in, press enter or return on your keyboard and you're all set.